Hey everyone, welcome to our fifth coffee combo. Today we're at Plymouth Coffee Bean. It's really close to our office, just a few minutes drive away. And uh, we're really excited for this episode. We're gonna sit down with Ben and Melissa. They're both uh, real estate agents at our office. They're gonna share some really awesome stuff with you guys. We're gonna have some really good coffee and we're really excited about it. So why don't you come along and check this shop out. Hey there, my name is Melissa Chan. I'm a realtor at the Packer Group, and today we are having our coffee conversation, and we are drinking coffee from Plymouth Coffee Bean. It's a really nice local spot in downtown Plymouth. You guys definitely have to check it out. My name is Ben Cockrum. I'm a realtor with the Packer Group. Been with the team since 2017, and that's about it. I'm going to get started and jump into our first question. Sounds good. All right. What would be your advice to someone who wants to get into fitness but doesn't know where to start? I would suggest uh, going on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, that's where I learn majority of what I do at the gym. Um, also, when you go to the gym, you just see what other people are doing. And that just gives you ideas as well. And when you first start going, your form's not going to be as good. But honestly, no one at the gym really cares what is going on. Yeah. So. I mean, we're all in there just trying to work towards getting better. Exactly. So. You know, just trying to better ourselves. Would you consider yourself a competitive person? Why or why not? Hmm. When it comes to fitness, yes, I would say, say I'm pretty competitive. Um, I've always been into sports growing up. So whether it was soccer, basketball, track, um, I think that's where a lot of my competitiveness came from. And it's just, it's like a healthy competition. You know, you wanna work or train with people that are kind of better than where you are at. So, you know, they can kind of help you push you along, so. Yeah, it's good to have goals. Very true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you hopeful for this year professionally? I would say I would like to sell 35 homes this year or help 35 people purchase homes and uh, just expand my networking abilities and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. And you still, I mean, you work with a ton of investors. Um, so I think it'd be great to even just broaden that, that network for you. Yep. Yeah. I, I do enjoy working with investors. Um, I always learn something new from every single one of them. Yeah. What made you um, kind of decide to go that route? Like with, you know, that being kind of your ideal client? Well, my dad, he's a landlord. Okay. And so I was working with my dad since I was like eight years old. He's a handyman. And so I would just be working on the real estate side of fixing stuff up. Then as I got older, I wanted to not really work with my hands as much mm -hmm. and kind of switch over. And eventually I would like to become a landlord as well. So I started buying investment properties. So as much as I can learn now is yeah. pretty ideal for me. Yeah. I mean, no way to get your feet wet than hands-on experience, right? Exactly. So, good. Good for you. What is your favorite favorite part of your job? Hmm. So I would say because we meet so many different people on a day, like no um, file is the same and no individual is the same. So I think for me, it's really getting to know my clients. Um, you know, we, me and you work primarily on the buyer side. So it's such an intimate process that we go through with our clients. And I mean, we're right there in the emotions with them, but you know, when you see that success that you were able to be a part of and help them, you know, achieve that dream of, you know, whether it's their first house or they're, they're starting their family and they need to upgrade in how, home and you can help be a part of that journey. I think for me, that's probably one of the farthest, funnest parts of our journey. I, I would second that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always a good feeling. Yep. Yep. What is the best part of working with first time home buyers? Um, for me, I would say the excitement that they see. I mean, even the initial first home that you show them, yeah. they're just like blown away. 
And Absolutely. I think that the most common thing that they say is like, I'm sorry for wasting your time. When they first see their first home, I'm yeah. like, you're just getting your feet wet. Yeah. You know, like, I hope it was fun for you. But I think just showing them their first home is super exciting. And uh, when they f- finally close on their home, too, it's just the automatic joy that they have. Yeah. I have this running joke with all my first time buyers. So I tell them shopping for a house is like dating. Initially, we're doing it online. And then our first showing is our first date. And then when we go to, you know, do that offer, I mean, that's kind of our proposal. So they're either going to say they want to marry us or not. And then once they say yes, then, you know, that's our kind of engagement process. And then the closing is the marriage. So it's kind of my running joke with my clients. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) What motivates you the most? Mm. So I would say my son, um, you know, he is just the person I draw inspiration from, who I work hardest for each day, who helps me, you know, to become the best version of myself, whether, you know, it's just being a good person or a mom or business owner in general. So I draw most of my inspiration. He is from him. I mean, ultimately, he's my wife. So awesome. So, even days when I, you know, want to pull my hair out. He's still my why. <laughs> why is health and fitness a passion of yours? Oof, it's a tough question. Um, I would probably say I was always pretty active as a kid. And I didn't start lifting weights until like November of 2018. When I started lifting weights and started seeing the results, that's what kept me going yeah. and getting stronger at the gym is just what I live for I, I enjoy that I enjoy pushing myself every day and seeing how much more I can lift yeah and hopefully not hurt myself right <laughs> but it is uh it's taught me to eat better yeah. eat cleaner you know pretty much watch how I treat my body not staying up until five in the morning on a Friday or Saturday night yeah you know it's teaches you discipline being at the gym Awesome. Well, this concludes our coffee combo. Uh, Once again, our coffee is from the Coffee Bean in Plymouth. Highly suggest you guys check it out if you haven't been there already. And once again, my name is Ben. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is benfit underscore real estate. And once again, my name is Melissa. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, It was a pleasure sitting down with Ben and just chatting through some health and fitness and life goals. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram uh, name is Melissa Sells Homes uh, underscore.